Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show it to you differences that I noticed on two tents that I've recently bought from Coleman. As you can see here we have two tents of the same size. They're both six people tent and they're both dome tents from the same manufacturer. The one on the right I got from Costco, the one on the left I got directly from Coleman. Both say dark room technology. The packaging of both tents highlighted 90% light blockage. But I did find differences and I would like to show it to you. Here on the right you can see it says right there dark room technology. It's a fast pitch tent. The, the one on the left also same thing dark room. And it's called sun dome tent. For some reason the blue one cannot be found on the Coleman's website. It might be a tent made specifically for Costco customers, uh, which seems to be a little different than the one on the left. And I want to show that to you. I bought it because I wanted to get real, real, a real dark feeling in campsites um, where you see a lot of light coming in um, from RVs, from other campsites, or from large cities nearby. Especially, especially at night when you want to really, really enjoy a good night's sleep after activities. This one is much better. The one on the left, I have to say that right away. But I would like to show it to you on the inside how it looks like. I'm doing a little bit of a walk around. You can see it's the same kind of setup. The blue one has four poles that connect together with a central hub. You can see the back window there. The green one has two large poles that cross each other at the top. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same tent. You can see the logo is a little different from one tent to another. The one on the left shows that little lantern. The one on the right shows uh, the name colon on the side. But what really matters is what's on the inside, right? So let's dive in. I don't have a gimbal with me, so if, it's, if my video is a little shaky, please forgive me. I like to make simple videos with very little editing. But let's go in. Right away you see the bottom and the top. There's a difference in light that's coming in. I'm closing the door. I don't have a gimbal again. So it may look funny sometimes on the video. Please forgive me. I'm not sponsored by Coleman, by the way. And here you go. The bottom section, a lot of light comes in. Top section, very dark. The fly leaf, the rain fly is actually kind of gray. And the front and back on the top portion is black. The bottom all around is this light blue, which allows light to come in. So I was a little disappointed with this surprise. This tent has one pouch for your car keys, your cell phone on the left, and nothing on the right. Another difference I'd like to show to you. Once I jump to the other tent, you see how it looks like. Here we have a traditional window with a zipper, nothing else, nothing else on the top, no extra hooks or nothing. I was really happy with this tent, but I'm going to be very clear with you. I'm much happier with this one. Right away, even before I get in, you can tell that the bottom section is even darker. Again, forgive me for the shaky video. Wow, what a difference. Just look at that. The top, the, the rain fly is gray. Front and back on top are black. Here's a back window. But the all around the bottom section, fully black. Just beautiful. Makes for a great night's sleep. Great night's sleep. A hundred percent all around black on the top on the bottom. This tent has two pouches. One on the right in the center. And there's also one on the left, also in the center, 
So uh, there's another plus with this version of the tent. If that's important to you, here we go. It's just information. That's the pouch right there. The security label. I just camped uh, for a few days at Lake George and it got rain last night. Both tents held up pretty good. A little bit of water in the corner, but nothing, nothing, different, nothing too bad. This one has on the top window, on the window, has these three hooks that I'm not sure what they're for. But I guess you can hang other stuff there if you need to. Now let's go on the outside again. When I was recording this video, there, was, there were people working around us, too much noise. So I decided to do a voiceover. Another look on the inside. And I wanted to show it to you also without the rain fly. That's why we have a cut on the video. I normally don't have that. I like to make straight, simple videos with very little editing. Just for just to inform people of things that I experience. I like that one much better, the one on the left. I can tell you that, that the one on the right would be for the kids. Too bad for them. I will, I will be using the presidential suite. I don't know why Coleman has these two tents. But they look the same, but it's not the same. With the difference in lighting. Not quite sure. Now, here we go. Now we have the rain flight out. You can see the poles. See the model type, fast pitch. The other one says sun dome. I really didn't notice a difference in speed of setting up. I've been camping for many years, made no difference. Here's the pole. And this tent is green. It's got the traditional ring with the little peg. Two large poles across in the middle classic dome setup that you find in many many models of tents many many factors on this one it's a it's a hub system four blue poles meet in the middle and at the very bottom it goes into this little cup where the poles secured again it didn't make much difference to me as far as speed is concerned and thank you for watching i hope this is in, in promotional to you it's useful and go camping let's go